一百零七 ，The Columbus Dispatch Expert s o f t w a r Solutions to Help Keep Basements Dry。二零一五年七月二十六日 ，In w e e k e r Source。The Columbus Dispatch。A high of July 二十六 After reading their basement of water from this summer sandless rains, Central Ohio homeowners are embarking on another task: deeping the water from coming back. The first steps to a dry basement, experts say, should be taken outside the house. Ninety times out of yep, that the problem can be found on the outside, said Jeremy Chapman, owner of Chapman Drainage on the west side. The most common reason basements leak is that water isn't put away from the foundation by proper landscaping and a functioning gutter and drainage system. If the water makes it into the gutter and makes it to the drainage system and out into the street, the basement's probably going to be dry, Chapman said. Homeowners must make sure gutters are properly installed and free of debris and that downspouts take water away from the house. Ideally, through an underground system that empties water into the street or directly into a sewer. Experts also look for land to slope away from the house to help water run away from the foundation. We first look at the three Gs," said Scott Senoff, sales manager of Ever Dry Water Proving of Columbus. Gutters, make sure they are clear. Grading, make sure it's pitched away. And groundwater. Make sure some pumps are working properly to pump it away. Unfortunately, even a functioning gutter system might not have been enough this summer, given the subtle inches of rain that Central Ohio has received since June. Yet, to help determine whether the problem is more serious, Pat Kirby, the owner of Hydra Basement Water Proving in Columbus, examines water stains on basement walls. If it's just in a corner. And there's a Christmas tree pattern of discoloration. It's the downspout. It's coming from outside the home, he said. But if it's coming from the corner, along the floor, then it's probably the drainage tile. That problem and others can be repaired, although some fixes are tougher than others. Here's what can go wrong: failed sump pump. Sumps are designed to pump water collected from drains around and under the house. They should be routinely checked and. Ideally, should include a backup power source if the sump seems to be functioning properly, but isn't moving water quickly enough out of the basin. The pipe from the pump might be clogged. Replacing a sump pump should cost less than a million bucks. Foundation cracks, even the best foundations, crack over time from settling and outside pressure. Often, the cracks are insignificant, but when they become large enough to allow water in. They should be sealed. Mason resealant and cork can help seal cracks from the inside, and products such as drillog can help. Although such sealing is relatively cheap, less than a unit back for materials, it won't keep water out of a basement if water is still penetrating the foundation in any volume. A more effective and much more expensive approach is to seal walls from the outside after digging trenches around the foundation. For every crack you see inside, there are three or four outside," said Senoff, whose company uses tar and plastic to seal outside walls, water-penetrating walls, inside solutions, even with a functioning outside drainage system and the solid foundation. Moisture can build up enough to penetrate porous concrete walls. A common remedy is to build a perimeter drain in the basement. A perimeter drain also helps keep water from the basement in another way. If soil becomes saturated with water, as it has this summer in many central Ohio neighborhoods, water can come up through the basement floor or where the flume meets the wall. A perimeter drain can help relieve that pressure by channeling water out from under the floor. To install such a drain system. Workers cut a trench along the edge of the basement by removing part of the basement slab. They typically drill whip holes into the bottom of the concrete block to allow water to seep into a drain and ultimately into the sump pump basin beneath the slab. The cost of a perimeter drain system depends on the home's size, but homeowners should expect to spend from a million to a million yep man yitin water penetrating walls. Outside solutions. Most homes include a drainage system that runs along the perimeter of the house beside the footer. 
If the system becomes clogged or damaged, water can build up outside the foundation. In extreme cases, contractors must remove dirt from around the home and replace or install a drainage system. Some companies, such as Everdry, do a variation by installing a drainage system a few feet deep around the foundation instead of going all the way to drains around the footer. In either case, the solution can cause up to million yiman, overflowing sewers when rain falls long and hard, as it has some days this summer. Municipal drains fill up and can back up into basements. Unfortunately, there's little that homeowners can do to remedy this problem, which must be addressed by the municipality. As Chapman notes, once the sewage is coming in, there's nothing you can do. Chweka now dispatch call out Jim Weaker. For a survey of wet basement problems and solutions, visit the University of Minnesota Extension website at www.extension.um.edu. Test in environment. Search for moisture in basements. Copyright. C. Yi Tinling Yasapm The Columbus Dispatch. Columbus, Ohio. Visit the Columbus Dispatch. Columbus, Ohio at www.dispatch.com distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC.